Hi students, welcome to day three of chemistry. Let's go over what we're gonna be doing today. At the beginning of class is about the flame test. Some of you yesterday in class were able to do the flame test. Some of you today in class, as we flip-flopped, are going to be able to do that flame test in person. If you were distance learning, there's a video on the flame test that you're going to be able to watch and be able to get the information. Now, when you go to the flame test activity, it's gonna have you open up a Google Doc that you're gonna type into. Don't make a copy of this Google Doc. That copy is already made for you when you click on the My Documents tab inside the assignment. Pay special attention to the essential question. How do Bohr models help explain how substances react during a flame test? This is ultimately what you're trying to answer in the end. You'll start with some pre-activity research and then you have your data. This is where you're going to go around and collect those flame samples, uh, which some of you might have already done either in person or by watching the video, but you'll put those in here. And then you're going to use your reasoning. You're going to think about the pre-activity research and the data in order to answer the conclusion. Now, the conclusion is an answer to the essential question. And I have some sentence starters for you, including what the purpose of the activity was, where you're going to want to use the essential question, and then ex try to explain the essential question using your, your experience. Next is the evidence. You're going to want to pull some specific evidence from the lab in order to put that in there. And then the reasoning part is reasoning with that evidence. Why does that evidence support your claim? Don't forget, after, sorry, after the flame test, in the last half of class, you guys are going to be taking notes on matter, atoms, and Bohr models. Some of you might have already done that before. It was earlier on in the previous day, and that's okay. That just means you're a little bit of head, ahead. But you're going to take notes on matter, atoms, and Bohr models, and then you're going to do a little discussion on Bohr models where you can ask questions if you need further help and answer each other's questions. You're going to do a practice and then there's a portfolio review. So again, pay close attention to your portfolio. Today we're learning about targets 1.1 and 1.2. 1.1 is about matter and atoms, and it's how you can explain the definition of matter. You can identify three subatomic particles and describe their properties and location, and describe the relative size of the atom and its regions. So be able to do that and show that you can do that in, the, in your portfolio page. The other one is uh, the atomic structure. That's a big part about Bohr models. It says I can use the periodic table to determine the atomic number, describe how protons change the atom's identity. I can use the atomic mass number to determine the number of neutrons, not proton, and I can draw the Bohr model of any atom. Good luck.